Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I have a bit of a sculpture tutorial for you. This is kind of a sculpture sound design tutorial, but it actually encompasses a lot of different elements to get the sounds the way they are, including some automation, some sidechain ducking effects. But the main focus here is going to be using sculpture. This is not in any way a full breakdown of the sculpture instrument, and we're mainly going to be focusing on the material pad. And one particular way I like to use the material pad to create some really cool, spacey, arpeggiated tones. With sculpture, I feel like a lot of people shy away from using it because they open it up and everything is just so complex on the inside that they just kind of lose interest in it. But if you just play around with the presets and use the material pad here to choose what uh, material, you can actually do a lot and you can create some really cool morphing and evolving synth tones. So let me show you a quick example of what this sounds like and then I'll show you how to set this up. And some presets have, you know, more drastic changes between the different materials. So, for example, if I just load up the default setting that you get when you load it up at first, the difference between steel, nylon, wood, and glass are very, very different and very apparent. Yeah, let's pull that down an octave. That's a bit uh, too high. So again, this is a great way to bring some dynamics and some new textures into your synth tracks. And in particular, I really like to do this with arpeggiated chords and arpeggiated synth tracks. Now you may be thinking, well, can I just do this in Alchemy with the transform pad? Yeah, you can kind of do that too. But the difference here is that with sculpture, you have to think of each of these four materials as like an oscillator. So there are four different oscillators and your using the XY pad to choose which of each oscillator you are hearing. Whereas in Alchemy, the transform pad simply controls different modulation uh, controls. And also Alchemy is not a modeling synthesizer like Sculpture is, at least not in any sort of complexity. Okay, so let's start from scratch. Okay, so real quick there, I reset all of my effects and this is what this sounds like just as is. Pretty boring, right? Um, it's just some chords. I'll go ahead and bring these back up an octave. Some chords, a really simple synth bass just with long notes. But the synth is sort of like a percussive sound. We've got some uh, effects crashes and just a really basic drum beat up here. Let's start with the bass. All I'm doing here is I'm adding the arpeggiator and using the arpeggiator to arpeggiate an eighth note triplet and give it an eighth note triplet repeating pattern. And then I've thrown the compressor on here and I'm side chaining in the first kick drum from my drum machine designer kit. And then in my side chain settings, I've got this on peak mode and I'm just ducking the bass every single time the kick hits. And this is just a stock ES2 patch called Classic Synth Bass. Okay, so that doesn't really have anything to do with sculpture, but I wanted to show you what the what the bass is doing anyway. So I'm going to mute that and the effects crash for now. Let's bring in sculpture. Just to start, I've got the stock setting pulled up, but just normal chords, this kind of sounds boring. <laughs> So what I've done is I've added the arpeggiator, again, using an eighth note triplet, and I'm using the alternating note order. Yeah, and that's why we need to come down an octave because that upper octave is just really bright.
And you can see I can just very easily use the XY material pad here to morph that tone from a steel tone over to a, like a more nylon tone. Then what I'm doing is I'm adding just some reverb just for some ambience. So add whatever reverb uh, you prefer there, whatever ambient reverb you prefer. But after sculpture, but before the reverb, I'm adding the compressor once again. And just like with the bass track, I'm side chaining in the kick drum from my drum machine designer kit. So this will separate just the kick drum from that pattern region or that uh, sequence. So it's not incorporating the snare and the hi-hat or anything like that, just the kick drum channel. And so this is just gonna duck the synthesizer on those kick hits. So that's the basic setup, and that's where we get to the sound design portion, the, the cool part. So in this particular musical example, this goes for four bars with sort of a triplet four on the floor pattern, and then it jumps over to like a, it's like a weird four on the floor type of 16th note beat juxtaposed against an eighth note uh, triplet rhythm. So what you could do is you can move the XY pad around and create some different uh, dynamics and create some different tones and morph between these different sections. Because again, this just gives us one more level of control beyond just the notes, right? If we want to make transitions into new sections interesting, something needs to move. It could be a modulation effect. It can be a filter sweep. It can be something like this. So this is what I love about sculpture. Really most of the power in sculpture is right here in the material pad. And then you can pull up another preset that you know you like more. In particular, I like the modeled keyboards, the modeled bells, mallet instruments, and plucked instruments for this type of music. So I'm gonna go to modeled keyboards and let's check out a couple of these different presets. <laughs> That one's cool, but I don't like the wood or glass materials. They seem to be a bit out of tune. Let's go with the bright keys. That's pretty cool. And you'll find yourself most of the time, at least for this is what I do, is I avoid the glass corner because it's just a bit too, it just resonates too much. And sometimes the pitch um, just gets a little weird. This is one I really like, Dirty Planet. Let's try this one out. So now the final question is, how do you take that effect, that motion, and bake it into the composition so it happens automatically and you don't have to do it with your mouse? Well, you do it with automation. Both the X and Y parameters of the material pad can be automated at the same time. So all you need to do is press A to pull up your automation, choose track or region automation for this sort of thing. I would recommend region automation because it's going to put the automation directly in the region and then you can just copy and paste that region and it copy and pastes the automation. Change your automation mode over to latch and really all you have to do is just press play and start moving this around. But I recommend putting this at the starting point uh, where you'd uh, like to start at. And I also recommend sort of looping the automation back to somewhere around the same point so that when this eight bar phrase repeats, 
that the automation uh, doesn't seem, you know, like it just jumps uh, from one place on the XY pad over to the starting point. Okay, so you can see on that very last note, I looped back around to the starting point. So now all you have to do is change the automation mode back to read. If you click here, you'll be able to see multiple lanes of automation in here. And we should be able to show the other morph point automation. There it is. So those are the, the two morph points or the two X and Y uh, points. If it for some reason, you know, adds some other uh, automation here, you can just delete that. So that's all we need to do there. And all of that automation is baked right into that region. So now I can just copy and paste this section and it will be there for each section. Like 90% of the power of sculpture is right here in this material pad. There's some great presets you can choose up here. Automate your material pad to create evolving textures, morphing textures to bring some additional, uh, more interesting sound design, but also some more dynamics to your music. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.